Yo, 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 yo. What we got right here now is a 23 plate Scania, right? And um, what we got is the ABS malfunction, right? And um, and the diagnostic tool right here is saying it's wheel 8. So what we're going to do now, we're just going to check that ABS sensor first before we can start anything else, right? So wheel 8, just in case if you don't know, near side first axle that is wheel one all right so near side first axle will be like all right so let's show you guys just in case oh this one doesn't got this break but i was gonna show you the diagram so near side first axle yeah that's number one off side that's number two and then number three number four and then the third axle near side that will be your fifth wheel not the fifth wheel for the trailer but that will be number five in the truck world right and then the off side will be number six and then the fourth axle um near side will be number seven and then um your off side fourth axle that'll be number eight so that means our brake abs sensor in wheel eight that mean our offside fourth axle is playing up all right so that's what we're going to be checking today okay so um this is the front one but i'm going to show you one of the common faults with abs sensors is whenever these truck go to the landfill they go to the tips they go to the quarry they might just snag the abs cable a bit and what it does it make a bigger gap from the ring so this is a pulse sensor that send pulses towards the ring and if the gap is too wide then it can give um a fault code all you got to do is just push it back in all right so that's a common fault on most of them yeah with this case we're on the fourth axle and these one are different these one you can't reach in you'd have to remove the whole drum and the wheels the wheels and the drum which we are going to do i'm going to show you as well So this is our area sensor and by right this should be in some more all right so now all right so now this is the abs sensor clean and it and in its rightful position right this is it as you can see the gap is less as you can see now the gap is less right so what i've done as well i've also give the wire a bit of slack because before it was quite tight so i did remove it a bit and get like a 10 mil 10 mil slack on it so it's much better now all right so what we're gonna do just fit this up take it for a spin and see what go on all right right now so we just done the abs we put the wheel back together adjusted the brake what, we, what we're going to do now is take this for a road spin and then that will determine if we need to do further tests or if it solve the abs malfunction more likely it will solve the, the malfunction because as i said it's quite common in tippers tipper lorries and most of these lorries when they go to the landfill this is what happened you know the abs sensors always get pulled away and create a bigger gap so what we're going to do is take this for a spin if this abs malfunction doesn't come off then normally what i would do is just 
first thing first what i normally do is go to the abs um, modulator and i normally just swap around the abs to a different wheel and what it will do it will throw up a fall code so let's say now if i swap around number eight with number seven it will then show up number seven as faulty right yeah normally as i said i normally just um swap around them i normally swap around the abs sensors and it normally just throw up the fall code so then if it throws up a fall code in wheel seven obviously i know that um the sensor is absolutely fucked so then i will just put a new one on it or sometimes what i will do as well is check um the, the ohms resistance in in the wheels in the sensor as well most of the time you just chuck a new one on it and that's it good to go all right so yeah hope you find this video um informational so yeah that's our abs light off and all i did was just to reverse it reverse it out to the yard and it automatically just goes off normally i think you need to go if you're going forward i think it's 10 miles per hour but either way sometimes it comes off even with less speed than that all right so but once you start driving the truck within two seconds or three seconds that abs light should come off and if it stays on you know you got the next fault there where you need to check you know it's faulty all right so i said that's a quite simple fix most of the time most of the time it's just the abs sensor move out of place and create a bigger gap all right so yeah hopefully you find this video helpful anyway yeah